So hello everybody, welcome to Wild Discovery. Uh, I think this is probably the first time we've ever done this. Um, so bear with us. <laughs> and I'm not the best at uh, these live feeds as anybody who knows me will know that uh, they generally don't end too great. But what I'm going to try and do um, every single day, Monday to Friday, uh, at one o'clock, if you can join us, if you can spare five, ten minutes to join us, uh, we want to run something slightly different every single day for you uh, where we're going to feed the animals uh, and you're going to join us um, and we're going to talk about that individual species uh, just to make it a little bit more fun and interesting for the kids um, it will hopefully help with uh, homeschooling uh, etc um, if you have any questions feel free to type them up uh, on the messaging uh, system uh, and uh, I will try and answer everything. If I can't do it there and then, I will get round to it at some stage. Uh, but multitasking isn't my uh, strong point, that's for sure. Um, but I will try my, my hardest. Um, so today, as you've probably guessed, we are going to concentrate on the uh, pelicans. So these are our pinkback pelicans. We have Elvis and Priscilla, um, all getting uh, their cue to... Uh, to perch whilst they're going to be fed um, so uh, we try not to use um, any voice uh, recognition with um, with training the pelicans especially we use um, hand signals so you'll see uh, Ella is uh, using hand signals to get them back on the perch because uh, they are slightly naughty so this 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 little chappy here this one um, is Elvis and the one at the back there that one is Priscilla um, and anyone who has been to Wild Discovery uh, will probably know uh, these two uh, for having uh, a certain type of characters uh, that they are they've got uh, very um, very unique personalities let's put it that way uh, Elvis is rather cheeky um, so, uh, pinkback pelicans, they are the smallest of uh, the pelican species. Um, their habitats are um, aquatic style habitats, swamps, ponds, lakes, that kind of thing. Uh, shallow, they prefer shallow water um, in, the natural, uh, in the natural world. Uh, they are of at least concern, um, and so that, therefore they're not really a priority for us uh, in terms of breeding. Um, but they have started to uh, to breed. Uh, we, we they have started to make a nest, and we have had a few eggs off them in the past, but none of have, uh, have actually um, produced anything just yet. So either Elvis hasn't worked out what to do, or um, they just uh, just slightly duff eggs. So um, is that everything? Okay. So they've had their feed. Um, so they're, pink, they're called pinkback pelicans because if you look underneath the wing, it might not be that easy to see actually with the sun blazing like it is, but if you look under the wing, they have uh, some a slightly pink plumage. Uh, that's what gives them the name. Um, and like I said, they are the smallest of uh, pelican species. However, they are still a big bird, uh, weighing in at around about up to seven kilos uh, in weight and uh, they've got a wingspan of uh, anywhere up to nearly three meters in length and um, so they are still a huge bird um, And you'll notice on the end of the beak there. They have a, a big hook uh, that hook is designed to uh, once they've caught fish to eat if it's a big fish that hook will uh, Prevent the um, the fish from getting away. They'll kind of stab it in whilst they swallow it um, the flap of skin underneath the beak um, that is uh, called a pelican bib um, and it is designed to not only, uh, sorry I'm just getting attacked, uh, not only is it designed to uh, to catch shoals of fish, um, it will also contain a lot of water, uh, it can actually hold, they can actually hold pretty much half their body weight in that pelican mm. bib uh, whilst they, um, whilst they uh, uh, drain out all the water and then swallow the fish whilst uh, whilst it's empty of, of the water so so they've had their feed um, today they've been on fresh fresh fish uh, roach I believe uh, and um, they've had uh, I can't remember the exact weight in fish but they've had around about five each I think something like that um, 
So uh, their, their diet varies. Um, some days they're on smaller fish, some days they're on large fish. Um, so we do vary the diet quite, uh, quite daily. It, it changes daily. Um, it just keeps their uh, their interest in food a little bit more and it also gives us an opportunity to do a bit more specific training with them so if we've got smaller fish they'll get a lot more um, and because it's a small reward we can actually get a lot more out of them as well in terms of training them uh, when, when we do train them it's usually for things like sitting on the perch like he is doing now uh, this helps us um, um, tr it helps us control them really because uh, as you can imagine, being pecked by one of these with that sharp uh, hook on the end of the beak can be quite painful. Um, so if we can control them and uh, ask them to do something basically to prevent us from, from getting hurt, uh, then uh, it's a lot better all round. Um, so um, I'm running out of things to talk about, to be honest. Uh, so if there are any questions, please uh, give us a message and if your children have any specific questions about uh, the natural world uh, we're here to an answer all those uh, and we're going to do this daily like i said um at 1 p.m every single day you can tune in um and we will every single day we'll be talking about something slightly different so i'm not sure what tomorrow is going to bring uh, i'll leave that for tomorrow's uh, surprise for you um but it will be a different uh, species every single day and we're going to run this uh, pretty much for as long as we are uh, isolated. Um, I hope everyone's faring up um, with this isolation malarkey. Uh, I know we are uh, on lockdown at home and uh, at the zoo. Um, you know the situation is pretty bleak, but let's uh, let's try and make the best of of what we we uh, we have. Um, and so this is what we're going to do. We're going to give this back and uh, we're going to do this daily, like I said. So any questions for tomorrow or on pelicans, specifically on pelicans, um, send them over. And then tomorrow uh, you can ask more questions on whatever animal we decide to, to uh, choose for you tomorrow. Um, if there are any requests for a specific species, um, then let us know. Let us have it. Uh, and... Uh, we will um we will let uh, we'll see you tomorrow thank you all very much for tuning in um and good luck <laughs>